Okay, we're going to find values of x or cosine x is equal to negative 0 0.3456 over this particular interval. And we're going to do it graphically this time. And so if we're going to do it graphically, I'm going to take my equations and I'm going to make this one here cosine be y1 and this be y2. And I'm going to look for the intersection points. So if I go to my calculator, I get y equals, and I have them entered already. My interval is 0 to 2 pi which implies radians, so I'll look at my mode, and I've got it in radians. Now, I could just graph them as they are, and I, get, I can't really see what's going on. That's not very smart. So what I want to do is I want to click my window, and I'm going to change my window to exactly the range that I'm looking for. And so I just need to find the intersection points within 0 to 2 pi. And I'm also going to change, I know trig values go from negative 1 to 1, so let's go negative 1.5 to 1.5 and now I'll get myself a nice window to look at. I'll graph it, there's the cosine, there's the negative 3.456 and now I want to find these points of intersection. So do it, I go second to race, which is my calculate menu. This is a brilliant menu, this calculate menu here. And I'm looking for number five, the intersection. And I have my first curve is referring to the cosine curve, that's good. My second curve is referring to this line. That's good. And I want this value here. Well, this is going up by one, so this it's about two. So I'm gonna guess two. And there's my first value for x. This my x, my this is my angle x, and it's 1.92. That's my first value. I do the same method to find this one. Second, calculate number five intersect. My first curve is y1, second curve y2, and I'm going to guess now to be about four. As long as I'm closer to the answer I want as opposed to this one, it, that's close enough guess. And indeed I get x is equal to 4.36 and these are both in radians. So that's graphically solving this.